See the car's ready to vibrate and it's going too quick. You see, and then there's a car coming. So there are some roads that are so sharp, some corners that are so sharp that you can't go in there in second gear. So here, if I do this in second, see the car's ready to vibrate and it's going too quick. You see, and then there's a car coming. To make that easier, what I should really do is go in here in first gear. Because second gear is not ideal for this turn. Especially if you're not experienced, if you're a learner, that could have been very hard to deal with. And to make that easier, it's much better to go into first gear in that sort of situation. And you can do that on the moves. I've seen a lot of people saying you can't change gear while you're moving, can't change it to first gear while you're moving. But you don't want to stop for no reason. You can change gear when you're moving. So like here, I'll show you. I'm going to turn left here. So instead of stopping first and I'm going into first, I can go into first as I'm approaching this junction. This way, all I have to do is check quickly, both sides, and it's looking good, then I can move. I didn't have to stop or worry about changing my gear. I can just carry on in first. I'm going to turn left to the end here and I'm going to go into first gear but let me do it the way some people have been suggesting which is to come to a full stop first and then get into first gear see this takes time I could have been going a lot quicker than that but because I had stopped first and then changed gear it took more time than necessary so to avoid all that you can change gear on the move before you get there so like here for instance the car's making you noise know, is vibrating too much so I can go into first as I'm making the turn and I can bring my clutch up smoothly before the turn so that way I can keep the car going. I don't have to come to a full stop. So some cars are more forgiving than others. You can actually take certain turns in second without a problem. But this car, you definitely can't do it. Some roads though, you don't need to change into first gear. So like here, I can see it's nice and wide. There's nothing in the way. I can leave it in second just with my brake a little bit and the speed is fine for this kind of turn because it's nice and wide, there's nothing going on. In those kind of turns, definitely leave it in second. You don't need to change into first. It's just the ones that are really tight and narrow and where you can't really see what's going on, that's where you might need to change into first as you're approaching it. So if I want to turn left into this road here, I could do it in second, but we've got this pedestrian here. So because I have to slow down, I'm gonna go into first and I can do that without stopping. Yeah, so if someone's behind me there, I didn't have to come to a full stop. When you're coming out from a mine road into a major road, most of the time you're gonna to have to use first gear because you can't really see properly like here. Yeah, most of the times you're gonna to have to go into first. It's very, very rare that you're gonna get a road that's open enough, especially in London, that's open enough for you to just keep moving in second gear. Most of the time you need to go into first as you approach the turn. So like here, for instance, there's another road where I'm coming from the mine road into a major road and I'm turning right. So I'm gonna check my mirrors and I'll signal and I can't see anything here. So I can't guess that it's clear. I will need to go into first so I can slow down properly and check it out properly and make sure it's safe. So I'm in first already, checking both sides and it's clear that way. I can keep moving smoothly without having to come to a full stop. Now, coming up to a bend, I'm just slowing the car down a bit because I don't know what's coming around the corner, but I don't need to clutch right now. I can have my foot near it in case I need to stop suddenly, but I can see further down there was nothing coming through. And then here I'm turning right and uh, on this roundabout. I can keep it in second because there's nothing really coming from the right and I can go at a decent pace, doing about 10 miles an hour. And I can keep moving but then once it gets to this bit now you see the car's struggling a little bit it's shaking almost and then I can't see anything coming from down this road so I need to get into first just to control it if I was to leave that in second it would have been very difficult to control it through there I would either have to coast or I'd go in there too fast or I'd brake and then suddenly the car would stall and then I'm gonna turn right into this side road here I can already see that it's really narrow I'm not taking this in second it's gonna be way too fast and the car's shaking. I'm trying to slow down, but the car's shaking. There's no way I can take this in second. So I'm going into first, and then now I can turn slowly. If I tried to take that in second, that would not have been safe. I don't know where this car is expecting me to go, but I think they're reversing back. So I'm gonna signal to let them know that I'm coming turn left. And they've decided to reverse out. I'm gonna go through here very slowly, you see? And again, I've changed into first while I was moving. I couldn't have done this in second gear because it's very narrow here. So I've done that while I was moving. I went into first gear and then dealt with the situation. 